Hello all, hope you are all doing well. So today's topic is how to install Hadoop in Windows 10. Before moving, please make sure you subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update. Moving on to agenda. First, we shall see prerequisites before installing. After that, setting environment in your device. And finally, Hadoop setup. So first of all, we need to install JDK for your system. To install it, you have to go to Oracle website and click on to this Windows X64 version and click here to download. Click on I reviewed and agree and click on to download. You can see it is downloaded. Sometimes it will ask for login and sign up. So you have to give your own email ID and password for that. So it will take some minutes to install. So preparing to install, click on next, next, and your file is being installed. So you can install in some other folder to avoid confusion. You can go to this PC and create new folder. Name it as Java and click on OK. So it is now being installed. To your system. So now you can see Java SA Development Kit is successfully installed. Click on close. Next, to download Hadoop, you have to visit their official website and click on binary. To install Hadoop, you will get this mirror link which is a tar file and you can see it is started downloading. And now you can see that the Hadoop tar file is downloaded. Now the next step is to set environment variable. You can go to start menu, go to settings, click on settings, go to system and click on environment. Edit environment variables. Okay. Now edit environment variables. Click on environment variables. So now here click on new and give Java Java underscore home. And you have to give variable value that is path of JDK files up to bin folder. So in environment variable you have to set the path for system variables and click on new and give variable name and variable value from the same JDK bin directory. So after this click on OK and close all this. So environment variable is set. We have to extract the Hadoop tar file. Click on tar file. Click on 7-zip and click on extract here so that this tar file is extracted in your Windows system. Now you can see the Hadoop file is extracted. So here these are the directories which will be there. Now we have to set up environment variables for Hadoop also. Before that, we have to see whether Java or JDK file is being installed in your system. To do that, you just have to go to command prompt, click on command prompt and just give the command as 
Java C to check whether it is installed in your system. Here I am after extracting Hadoop file, I am extracting it another time because in Hadoop when we install it and after that you will get another tar file. So we have to extract that tar file also and we will get some errors here. So we can just ignore this error. So in our system Hadoop is successfully extracted and we can see. click close. So next step what you can do is just copy the Hadoop file and paste it in another folder like C folder to avoid confusion. Now that you have copied it, you can click on etc and Hadoop and after that you will get many files like many files. So we have to select only 5 files and change the configuration of that XML file. So they are one is core site and afterwards HDFS site and afterwards we have to change map reduce site this is the xml file and after that we have to change yarn file also so the last file that we are going to edit is hadoop environment file so this will uh, this we will edit by using command prompt here all you need to do is right click click on edit with notepad and write the code here to change the configuration. So the XML files that we are going to edit now is core site.xml, hdfs site.xml, map reduce site.xml and yarn.xml. And another file that we are going to edit will be in command prompt. And the last file that we are going to edit through command prompt. So first let's look at core site.xml. So this is the code that we are writing in coreside.xml. This is the selected code that we have to write. After that, let's move to hdfs site.xml. So before editing Hadoop folder, we have to create two files inside Hadoop. So in this page we have to create another folder we can name it as data inside that we have to create two more folders one is name node and another one is data node let me create two folders called as name node and data node so in hdfs site.xml we are writing this code to get the configuration so this is the path of name node and this is the path of data node that we have created recently. Next let's see map reduce site file. This is also an XML file. We have to write this much code. This is a small bit of code that we need to write with name, value and property tags. In yarn site.xml file we have to write this code with same name value and property tags. This is all we need to write in XML sites. Now the last file that we are going to edit is Hadoop environment that we can edit in this Java home by giving the path of the JDK file that we have created in environment variables. We have to set environment variable using just go to system and click on this option and you can set both environment and path variables like how we did in JDK. After your path variables and environment variables are set, your Hadoop installation is done. Now we have to check whether Hadoop installation is successful or not. To do that, you have to go to command prompt. All you need to do is Click HDFS, name node, name node and hyphen format. And this is the command that you need to 
run to check whether Hadoop is installed properly in your system or not. So this is how you need to install Hadoop in your system. Thank you for watching the video. In case of any doubts, leave it in comment section. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.